All right, this is my first attempt at aquaponics. As you can see, this is the grow bed up here. What I've done is I've segmented the grow bed. I've taken these tubes, these PVC tubes, and separated it out so that I have access to the roots of the plants. I can swap them, move them all around. Most aquaponics gardens just have this solid grow bed filled with grow medium. It's both too expensive, really, and impractical as far as moving your plants around. So for example, I can just go up to this plant and just pull it right out. And I move it around. As you can see, the roots are doing very well. They're reaching down for those nutrients, getting the oxygen needed to absorb them. Here's my bell siphon. I like to not to go with the tube that goes down, um, just out of sheer laziness, and it just worked first try. So I can do another tutorial on how to get that all handled, but that's a really good way to go. As you can see here, all the vegetables are doing super fantastic. Right now this thing's about to cycle any second. You can see down here the fish tank. I don't have a sump so the water gets really low. They don't seem to mind it too much though. They kind of play around in the water, it's pretty funny. And uh, they don't seem to mind. I lost two fish in the cycling process as I was developing my algae. So that did happen. Um, I probably would have done it with just two fish instead of four. Start easy and uh, the system won't have to be overloaded with waste, which is what happened to me basically killing off those fish. I also added spring water out of a, a container and it, I'm pretty sure that that might have contributed to their death as well. So back up here you can see it dumps right out of here into the fish tank and um, this pipe goes up underneath. It's probably a little dark. It's plumbed through with a uh, bulkhead fitting and um, the 90 seemed to work the best just to have enough back pressure to get that siphon to work perfectly which it did over here I've got some tomato clones going here I'm probably gonna just transfer them outside once the weather gets nicer but right now I've just got those clones just getting started I do have one tomato in the grow bed just kind of as an experiment to see how it works out um, the arugula is doing very well the greens are just thriving right now got some um, that's kale I believe and that is some uh, some more lettuce there's some shard in the back that's starting out so here's an idea of how the what the whole thing looks like I went with a uh, fluoro wing uh, 200 200 watt light I was gonna do this whole thing outside but we got a ton of rain and um, that would have thrown off my chemistry so I decided to just do the whole thing inside for my first time to be able to control it and um, just go back over here and see these these guys they were just transferred into this uh, the grow bed As you see I got a couple of tubes I got plenty of them I can move it all around it's a modular system I would suggest trying something like this it's a little bit more work to cut all the tubes but once you have it all cut then um, you really have a, a cleaner system and like I say you can move this stuff around so um, yeah first attempt at aquaponics seems to be working out great Lessons I would learn is uh, make sure your bell siphon works perfectly, cycle it, just run it through like for all night, make sure it works perfectly. And um, the next thing would be uh, don't add too many fish, wait for your algae to develop, it just takes time. You're just gonna have to wait and um, there's nothing you can really do about it. So see you next time.